I recently needed to decide whether to use a global variable or not. It was an easy decision and we'll note why here. First of all, what is a global variable? It's a variable like any other variable, but with a global scope where it can be accessed anywhere. Their name starts with the dollar sign and the most popular global variable is the load path variable, which is dollar colon. By the way, it's covered in my other screencast, so check it out. Let's start by creating one and see where we can access it. And create two classes, the foo and the bar as always, that will access this variable in a method. Next, let's see what we get back by creating an instance of a foo and a bar and call the method that returns the value of the global variable. And the result shows that the variable is accessible from two separate scope. So why not just use a constant? The issue that I have with the constants is that my cap lock key on my keyboard is mapped to control. So it's not really convenient for me to type anything in capital letters. And of course, that can't be the only reason, right? So let's see why. So let me create a constant with a value that represents how I feel towards typing all caps. And it's available in the context of a class. No big deal. But when I create another class and set the value there, and I'm creating a method that prints out the value. Now see what happens. With the constants, I have to deal with the scope and it can lead to some ugliness. The reason why I'm pointing this out is because in Ruby, you can, with a little bit of advanced techniques, can change a constant's value. Going back to our subject matter, let's look at the reason why global variables are to be avoided at all cost. Its biggest problem, yet its, its main feature, is that it can be changed anywhere and at any time. Let's see this in action with two classes we created, foo and the bar. Okay, so let's change the variable in the scope of another class. And we call this one Dr. Evil. And as you can see, the values are changed and if you're expecting some value, it's not the, it won't be the case because it was changed in another class. Global variable can be the root of all evil. To demonstrate this, let's create a global variable killer and assign the value of 10. And create two threads, one to count down from killer's value to zero, uh, slipping for half second and printing the value of our variable in each iteration. And another one to reset the value to 10 again every two seconds just to see what happens. Remember, these two are separate threads. Well, I mean, they are Ruby threads, but that's another discussion altogether. And as you can see, the global variable is accessible across the threads. This is how you can make an app not thread safe. It's really important to be extremely careful with global variables, but the, here's the question. Why not just freeze it? Freezing an object is just that, freezing an, an object, not the reference. To demonstrate this, let's create a global variable with a string value hello. And we'll freeze it. And when asked, it says it's frozen. Do uh, something that will modify it, like a G sub. Uh, There's a bang method, by the way. And it won't let me. However, if I do assign operation, it's not frozen anymore. And I can modify it. So when do I use it then? I find it useful for configuration elements such as the load path and a simple singleton. Here's how I would use in a Rails app to use uh, Redis so that my models, helpers, controllers, and anything else can use it. So let's create a Rails app. Then create a Redis configuration and create the initializer that will create our global variable. Therefore, the connection to the Redis is contained in this global variable, and that's how I would access the Redis. Let's open up the console and test it. So it's accessible from anywhere in this app. To wrap it all up, as you can see, global variable is just another tool that actually provided by the Ruby. But once again, I would like to stress the uh, point that you know you should always use the right tool for the right job.